this is our first video. We are going to do a tutorial on photo pillows. And these are great. You can make them for anyone, for any event. I actually just made one uh, for my mother for Mother's Day with a picture of her and my daughter on it. And then on the back side, I actually had a poem that I printed out and customized as well. So, what you will need for this video, for this project here, is your freezer paper. And I have this very large box that I got from the craft store. You'll need your fabric. Now you may want to use more than one color if you want your pillow to be different colors. And the photo um, usually is printed on a lighter color so it comes out pretty well. And then you also want, of course, a piece of printer paper just to measure the size of the freezer paper for you. And then whatever you're going to use to, to stuff your pillow. So I use this very large polyfill bag that I've been using for quite a while. It's a little more economical, but you can also buy, you know, the pre-made pillows. So the first thing you want to do is decide what picture you want to use. And after you've decided that, you want to get your freezer paper. You want to take your piece of printer paper and cut out this size to the freezer paper. And you also want to cut out your piece of fabric that you you want the picture printed on. So you want to measure it the same as the paper as well and cut that all out. So I have my piece of regular paper I used to cut. Um, I have my fabric over here that I'm going to use and it's going to get ironed. So we'll iron that out. And then your freezer paper and one side is shiny and the other side is not shiny. Okay. So what you want to do first after you've cut out all your pieces here is take the piece that you want the photo printed on and decide, you know, which size is the one that you would like it printed. And then what you're going to do is take the shiny side and put it up and put facing up where you want the photo printed on, okay? Because what you're going to do now is you're going to line it up on top of each other and you're going to iron and it's going to stick the fabric on. So you really want to iron it pretty well. It's best to use fabric that's thinner, obviously, so it can go through your printer with no problem. And you really want to make sure the edges um, are really ironed on well here. Because otherwise your printer might um, pull at it and get a paper jam and you don't want to ruin your printer as well. And you can also um, print multiple pictures on one. You know, you can edit it as far as you want with writing, all that kinds of stuff. So go ahead and iron it on. And then after you're done ironing and you make sure that it's, it's working pretty well, that it's sticking really well, I usually turn it around and I do it both ways. And you don't want to leave the iron on one spot too long or you're going to have a problem because it's going to actually burn your fabric a little bit if it's too high. So what you want to do then is put this in, right into your printer and make sure you have the right side, you know, where your printer is going to pull it up and print on that fabric side. So go ahead and take it to your printer and print it and then we will meet back to finish the product. All right. Okay, so we're back. So what you want to do now is just take your lovely photo, you just peel the freezer paper right off of it, it'll come off, and you can actually use that freezer paper a couple times if you like, until it kind of gets worn out. 
So I have my little puppy dog here for my relatives. It's their puppy dog. So I'm going to make them a pillow. So you want to take your picture and then your other side of your pillow fabric. And for this one, I'm just going to make a small little decorative pillow, but like this one, or you can even make a big square one, which I made for my mother, you know, really, it's all up to you. Be creative. So you want to take the two sides that you want on the outside, face them together inside. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pin all the way around, line it up. You want about a three inches that you do not want to sew, okay? Because that's where you're going to turn it inside out and you're also going to, then you're going to stuff it and then sew it when you're done. So go ahead and line your two up and pin them and then sew it all the way around except for one three inch opening, okay? And then we'll meet back here to continue. Okay, once you're done, you have your project here, inside out. You have your little three inch mark that's open, okay? So then all you're gonna do is, to make the corners stand out actually, I just kind of cut a little bit around the corners, but you, obviously you don't want to cut where the thread is, okay? And then you're going to find your opening here. And you're just going to pull it right through each corner and see how it looks. Make sure it's all even. A quick, nice, easy project to do, and it's it's meaningful. It's from you know family to friends. You made it yourself. It's like a little heirloom. Okay, so go ahead and put yours inside out, and make sure all the corners are sticking out well. And then what we're gonna do is just fill it with that polyfill. Okay, so here we go. You know, I might have to iron it again, but this is what it looks like the front and the back here. So you're going to just take your polyfill and start stuffing it in there until it's big and then we'll meet back. Okay. So now we have our pillow all stuffed here. There's a little hole. This one I really stuffed well, but it's up to you how, how much you would like to fill with it. So next you're going to thread your needle and you're going to tie the end and we're going to hand stitch this closed. What we're going to do is use an invisible stitch. So what you want to do is actually go in from the inside, right up the corner, and then pull it through, and then go directly across, and go right up on the folded seam there. Okay, and then we'll take a closer look here. So then what you want to do is kind of just get that edge seam. This is the invisible stitch. Now you can do the loop stitch. That one's easier, but you'll definitely see the, the thread when you're finished. Whereas this one will become invisible. And the end got a little frayed there, but that should work itself out. Same thing, you go to the other side, and you'll see there's right on the fold. You want to get it and pull it right through again. And you see it's starting to look like a little, kind of like a little ladder there. Same thing, just keep going back and forth.
Okay, so once you get to the end there, you want to finish it off. So, of course, you make your loop and pull it through and it knots. And then I usually just do it one more time through that knot there just to make sure it stays. And then pull it through. And then I usually go to the back side here and you'll just kind of put it right through there. Pull it tight and then you want to take your scissors and cut it so that the end is invisible there. And then just cut your end strings off. And voila! You have your pillow all finished. Beautiful. Easy, fast, would make great gifts for anything, especially Christmas. Um, and this one I'm gonna get sent off in the mail today. So, this has been a great tutorial on making a photo pillow. Check in at ceciliasspot.com where creativity and fun collide for more awesome projects. Woo! Have a good day.